Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Classic older study Bible, the Ryrie, I mean in the 70s, that's probably the biggest study Bible to come out in the 70s, maybe the NIV study Bible. And then one of the very popular new ones, the Tony Evans study Bible. This one's put out by Moody Press. This is put out by Holman. We're going to take a quick look at this now this one's kind of dated aged and, and you can see it's indexed now you can get either one of these indexed let me just show it to you like this though you'll be able to see the size differential the tony evans is quite a bit bigger but it's smith's own two ribbon markers just gorgeously done tony evans with the urban alternative i remember he came and did a book signing it at, at uh berean where i worked one time he was a big guy. I can I know why he was the chaplain for the Dallas Cowboys. He may still be the chaplain for the Dallas Cowboys, for all I know. But again, we're just going to take a quick look at what you get. Now, the, the Ryrie, to me, has always had kind of a yellowish paper, but they say that's a really good paper to keep from ghosting. But you'll immediately see that the Tony Evans looks to me like it has just more notes and it's going to have bigger print now i think one reason people like the ryrie because of the side column reference a lot of people use it as a wide margin almost you can write in those margins an awful lot but you can see the tri-column format down below the tony evans study bible so uh It really, they're both just classics. What can I say? Tony Evans much newer. Now, the Tony Evans currently only comes in the new CSB, the Christian Standard Bible, which is kind of like the, uh, it's a proprietary Southern Baptist Bible kind of thing. It was preceded by the Holman Christian Standard Bible. But, you know, just looking through as far as references are going to have about the same amount of references the tony evans does have a lot of room to write in the side as well i thought it might because of that's the reason for its width um it's going to be easier to read the tony evans smaller print even though it's for small print it's very well done you can still read it um, the notes are going to be about the same size there's just going to be so many more notes in the tony evans I just can't even describe to you how many more notes there's going to be. Let's go to like Leviticus 16. I'll try to read some notes real quick here. Leviticus 16 about the blood. I'm glad Jesus shed his sinless blood for us. So like 11 through 15. So it doesn't even have 16 through 20, any notes in here. Aaron entered and left the most holy place three times during the day's sacrifices and rituals. The first time was to burn fragrant incense before the Lord. The second time was to get some of the bull's blood from a sin offering and sprinkling against the east side of the mercy seat. And before the mercy seat, his third interest in the most holy place was to bring the blood of the male goat for the people's sin offering. So, I mean, that's good information. I liked reading that. Well, that's one thing I've really found about the Tony Evans Study Bible is it, it really has some great information. It does 16 through 19 here of Leviticus 16. The Holy of Holies, the altar of burnt offering had to be cleansed because the tabernacle was in the midst of a sinful people. So again, they're just going to have more notes, a lot more in the Tony Evans. Tony Evans is not going to be red letter. Ryrie is going to be red letter. I think you can get it either way. I'm not sure you can get the other either way. So, you know, just over the course of time, uh, things progress. And so let me just show you what's in the back. The Ryrie does have quite a bit of good stuff in the back. Whoops. Quite a bit of good stuff in the back. But it's not nearly going to offset everything you get in the back in the Tony Evans. Definitions of key terms, grace, ecclesiology, doctrinal outlines of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, 
Harmony of the Gospels, good larger print concordance. Where this is going to have a concordance to, it's not going to be large print. At least the notes aren't. Actually, the, the lettering is going to be kind of large print. So, you know, really to do maybe a fairer comparison. This is a fair comparison, but a fairer comparison. You would have to get a newer Ryrie Study Bible to compare to the Tony Evans as far as different quality metrics and things. Um, but just as far as what comes in. So I know a lot of you use a Ryrie study Bible. It's a favorite study Bible. Even good apostolics consider it they're just their favorite study Bible. But uh, with the way technology is going, you may want to check out the Tony Evans. And Tony Evans, I, when I did the review, you can look at those on YouTube. On those, I mean, he's got some very good notes on key portions of Scripture, like on modesty and a lot of different key biblical doctrines. So, the Tony Evans Study Bible, the Ryrie Study Bible compared. Now, if size is a, a comparison, then you want the Ryrie because it's going to be just, and it's going to be packed with information, just not nearly as much information as the Tony Evans. So, God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.